Welcome back to Retirement Today. Your co-host here, Jonathan Berkland, with me here in the studio, Michael Reese, and he knows a thing or two about retirement planning. He's been doing this for over 25 years, and today we've been talking about some of the things you can do to really protect yourself, your portfolio, and maybe get a second opinion, right, on, on what you might do differently in retirement. And I know you have some ideas here to share as well here in the last segment today. Top three. That's right. Top three. I'm going to do a top three list. <laughs> uh, let's do it backwards, like number three, number two. We'll have fun okay, with it. Okay, I like that. So... We all st we started out the show. I was sharing the story of my brother Tim. Yes, who's cooler than you know Jonathan and I. That's right. Because he lives in Virginia, he came to visit us here in Austin, and he made the trip on his motorcycle. The whole motorcycle thing. Yeah, yeah. That that marks him up on the cool factor, right? I mean, just picture it: a guy that's like six four, six five on his motorcycle. You think, <laughs> oh, that's a tough dude. Now this guy's got like dad bod, um, <laughs> but he's awesome. He is so he's one of one of the kids' favorite uncle because he's just really a cool guy. Anyway, he was sharing over dinner how he was thinking, man, and by the way, he's very successful. And he's sharing over dinner. He says, man, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to retire. Um, he's 62 years old. He says, I'm sitting here watching my 401k to go down in value seemingly every day. How am I supposed to retire when my money is vanishing before my very eyes? Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that many of you listening feel the same way. Yes. I'll bet that many of you are sitting there and you're saying, man, I'm in my early 60s. I want to retire, and I'm not sure I can because my 401k seems to be going down every day, or seemingly every day. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you're in your late 50s thinking the same thing. Maybe you're already retired, and you're watching your 401k or your investment accounts go down almost every day, and you're wondering, do you need to go back to work? All of this is a strong indication that, guess what? It's like... Why are you accepting that? It doesn't have to be that way. Get a second opinion. Call us. Let us help you because there's no excuse for that. None. No excuse. It just means that you're working with someone who doesn't know what they're doing in regards to retirement planning. Right. Because investment planning and retirement planning are two very different things. Very different things. You know, it's, I, there was a great article a few years ago, and it was in, um, I think it was Market Watch or Smart Money or sure. one of those places. The headline was, the advisor who got you to retirement is probably not the advisor that can get you through retirement. And the whole article is based on how these are two different things. Growing your money is one set of skills, but once you get to retirement, actually when you're getting close to retirement, Suddenly, that set of skills, that's just a, a tiny subset of what you need to do. You need to figure out how you're going to best deliver income that is stable and, and safe mm -hmm. and secure, that grows over time. Income that lasts, like when should you take your Social Security? Yeah. Should you take it early? Should you take it later? What's the right move? What about taxes? I mean, think about it. Every dollar you give the IRS is a dollar that could have been maybe in your pocket with some tax planning. More money in your pocket means more financial security. It means your money lasts longer. What are you doing from a tax perspective? What about your health care? You get it later in life. Medicare kicks in, mm -hmm. but it doesn't cover things like long-term care. That's right. Studies say that there's a huge percentage of people are going to need it. Now, it may not be in a nursing home. It might be in your own home. But how are you going to pay for it? I'll bet you know someone. I'll bet you know maybe several someones who have started out in retirement seemingly in good shape. Next thing you know, a health care event happens, and suddenly they're spending on all their money, and they die broke. Do you want that to happen? Or do you want to maintain your independence? It's all about maintaining independence, maintaining your lifestyle. Yeah. And a recession, which is likely to come, and markets that are going down, these are things that threaten your financial security. They threaten your ability to maintain your lifestyle. And if you don't have your account set up the right way, you can get crushed, just like my parents did back in the late 1990s, early 2000s, and along with millions of other families. Yeah. And it's just so unnecessary. So here's what you need to do to protect yourself. All right? So here we go. Let's start with number three. Number three. Ta-da! Here's number three. 
You should be aggressively, aggressively moving money to tax-free accounts as quickly as you can. Aggressively moving money to tax-free accounts as quickly as you can. And this is a conversation you'd be sitting down with your tax advisor every year. And by the way, for many of you, if you do your own taxes on QuickBooks or on, a, what do they call it, um, TurboTax? TurboTax, yes. Yeah, not QuickBooks, TurboTax. There you go. Um, if you do your own taxes there, hey, your financial advisor should be able to help you with this. And if they don't, then what the heck are you paying them for? <laughs> so here you go. Why is that so important? Well, here's why. Our government is not what you would call fiscally responsible. No, I don't think many people would use that term. At least I'm going to say I believe, <laughs> I believe our government is not fiscally responsible. They spend money like crazy. They don't really care a whole lot about how they're actually going to pay for anything. As a result, our national debt is, I think we can all say, it's fair to say it's out of control. Huge, yeah. Social Security, Medicare, out of control in, in the whole. Th those are the two biggest Ponzi schemes in the world. <laughs> but when the government does it, it's legal, apparently. Right. If we do it, not so legal. I mean, it's, it's just wrong either way. It's wrong if we do it. It's wrong when the government does it. As a result, the way they're spending money in D.C., Washington, D.C., I think it's very safe to assume that tax rates are going to increase in the future. We are at his, still near some historic low tax rates. Odds are high they're going to increase in the future. Your money in your IRA, 401k, 403b, that's money that's never been taxed. Why not start moving some of that money, portions of that money today, into tax-free accounts? You say, hey, I'll tell you what, you got to pay tax sometime. Right. Why not pay a little tax today? to avoid a huge tax later on. By the way, when you actually look at the numbers, for most people, well, I shouldn't say most, how about I say this? For many people, it's a no-brainer. Mm -hmm. Absolute no-brainer. Yet, is your advisor talking to you about that every year? And by the way, it's not your job to go to your advisor, whether it's a tax advisor, a financial advisor, and ask them, hey, should I look at doing Roth conversions, for example, this year? That's not your job. You're paying them. That's their job to bring it to you. And if they're not bringing it to you every single year, they're not, then get another advisor who actually does their job. And part of that is making sure you're being tax smart. So that's number three. Which one's next, Jonathan? Number two. <laughs> number two. Come on, you got to give me like a... Number two. There we go. That's exciting. <laughs> there we go. Number two step to protect yourself from recession or really just any bad market environments. Yeah. Manage your growth accounts, which should not be all your money. It should be a portion of your money. Right. Manage your growth accounts like you're driving a car. We talked about this a little bit earlier on the show. Exactly, yeah. Now, what does that mean? When you're driving a car, if it's sunny and clear, conditions are, you know, nice. Yeah. It's okay to go a little faster. Go for it. Straight straight road, sunny day, go a little faster. You can safely go a little faster. But if you're coming up on an S turn. Right. Or if it's pouring rain outside. Or both. Slow down. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You need to do the same with your investments. When the markets are doing well, it's okay to be fully invested in the market. But if they're not doing well, then you shouldn't be doing that. It's like, hey, I'm just going to drive 85 miles an hour in pouring rain when I'm approaching an S-curve. Right. <laughs> Not going to end well. No. So don't be doing that. Manage your growth accounts like you're driving a car. If markets are cloudy or uncertain and things are looking scary, have more money in cash. Markets are looking good, have more money in the markets. And that brings up number, what are we at? Number one. We're at number one. That's right. That was a good number one, Jonathan. Thank you. I appreciate that Number one thing to do to protect yourself, carve out a portion of your money and put it somewhere safe that gets a reasonably decent rate of return. And I'm not talking about a bank account. I'm not talking about CDs these days. I'm sure as heck not talking about bonds because <laughs> those things can lose money. Yeah. You need to have a place where you can put your money where it's absolutely safe, gets a decent return, where you can use that account to distribute all the income you need when the time comes. In today's world, 
that would be a very small select group of fixed indexed annuities. And there's tons of research to tell you these are the choice in today's world. Uh, I don't have time to go over it now, but that's what you should be doing. So number one, get yourself some safe money in the right place. Number two, manage your growth money intelligently. Mm -hmm. And number three, move some money to tax-free accounts. That's right. Do those three things. And if you need help, that's what we're here for. All you got to do, get, as long as you've saved over 200000 and right now we've only got a couple spots left. Yeah. First come, first serve. That's right. Get in there. Give us a call. We'll get a free personalized retire right report in your hands. It tells you what you're doing well and what you need to work on and what to do about it. Jonathan, let's wrap up the show with that number. All right. Pick up the phone. It's 512-886-5850. Again, that number is 512-886-5850. It's after hours, so yep. leave your name or actually you'll set up a time to talk to Jonathan. That's right. Yep. And he'll have a quick conversation with you, connect you with the right person in the office. All right, folks, we got to wrap up the show. It is Halloween. Yeah. So let's make sure that you're doing the right thing and giving out full-size candy bars and none of this fun-size stuff. <laughs> All right, that's our show. We'll see you all next week.